how to do the cross under. The main things that we focus on with the cross under is the size of the step, which leads to the cadence, the rocker, and being loose. So those are the four things that we pay attention to. So the cadence and size of the cross is really up to you and things that you can play with. So if I'm doing a McKinnon style, I'm gonna have a bigger and slightly slower rhythm, just like that. If I'm focused on a McDavid, I'm gonna be doing a slightly smaller step, but it's gonna be a bit quicker. That is the main thing, is that you can adjust those two things. And primarily my suggestion is not to overly focus on getting it perfect, but to focus on being able to do both. So you feel comfortable with the smaller step and more comfortable with the bigger step so that in the right situation, it comes out. The next piece, which is the rocker, is a really key thing. So what we wanna practice on the crosses is this underfoot, I'm landing at the heel or at least landing with really good shin angle. So my knee is over my toe. And that leads to a heel push and then a rocker. So it lands at the heel and then rockers to toe. We see this very often with the top NHL guys is that they are focused on that under push, landing with good shin angle, weight to the heel, and then they're rockering heel to toe specifically focused on that cross underfoot. The cross overfoot, while important and part of it, is less a focus for us at Train 2.0 because that underfoot gives you so much more power and mechanical leverage through the rocker and just where it is. So we focus on that foot and making sure we have the rocker on that. So the last piece is just staying loose throughout this. So a couple areas for you to stay loose. Now, I, I know I'm saying like, just stay loose and it's like a catch-all phrase, but there's a couple areas where if you focus on it, you can start to get more and more freedom in your movement. So one is in your hips, the other is in your shoulders, and the last is in your ankles. Let's start with the ground up. So on the crosses, we wanna have good flexi ankles. You can practice this by having Y angle and then doing your crosses. And you can practice changing directions by going this way and then rotating your ankles the other way and then going like this. And just practicing having your ankles be nice and loose laterally. So they can flex this way, they can flex this way. The other part, of course, with shin angle, we kind of touched on it, is having that ankle go here and here. So getting to rocker heel and then also rocker toe. So having all three directions of having that ankle mobility and having that be nice and loose are all things you wanna practice. So specifically, you wanna practice Y angle and then rocker, heel to toe. The second is your hips. They both wanna tilt and rotate. So a couple things is as I'm cro crossing, I wanna practice having this hip tilt and then also rotate in. So those are the two things, is tilt and then rotate. So the looser you get with your tilt and rotate, the better with your crosses. And the last piece is with your shoulders, your hands, your upper body, is rather than having them be like super tight and stiff and tight, 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 we wanna be able to make sure that they are loose and they're able to travel side to side and that you don't have your shoulders jacked up. They're able to be loose and you're able to have inner spring as you go, okay? So that as you're rotating your hips, your shoulders are not super jacked up, they're nice and loose. So. Being comfortable with smaller steps and bigger steps, so altering the two cadences, being really loose, and then using the rocker are all the key parts of the Train 2.0 cross under. Sometimes you call it a crossover, but the cross under emphasizes uh, what we're really doing, which is making sure that we're focusing on that bottom leg. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, post your clips for feedback in the Facebook group so that we can give you feedback on those. And then also don't overthink this. People kind of try to get too technical with this. You're not a speed skater, you're a hockey player. So the most important part is that you feel comfortable doing it and that you are able to do it in a game. And then we train that in a game. So 
get better at it, get your reps, but don't overthink it. And I hope you enjoy these mechanics so that you do feel more comfortable with your cross unders. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you wanna learn more about Train 2.0 and the downhill skating system, which is the foundation to all hockey mechanics, all hockey skills, all hockey sense, we've put together a little free training for you. It's five parts, five secrets to how to move like NHLers using the downhill skating system. And that's available for you if you click the link and you can sign up and you can go through those lessons to learn this yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.